In the last video, I showed you how you can use different control flows like if and loops in order to create a MIDI keyboard in the browser. And now it's your turn to create a quiz application using those same pieces of logic. And to get started, I have some HTML for you that defines the before state of your application. And it looks just like this, like you can see on the right here. We have different questions where you can click each one to answer one of the answers. Same with down here and same with down here. And then we have a check button that's going to tell you which ones are right and which ones are wrong. And if I click it, obviously right now nothing actually happens. It just resubmits our page as you would expect with a default form. In the final version of this, what I want you to do is based on the different answers that you supply here, when you click check, it's going to highlight the ones in red that you got wrong. It's going to highlight the ones in green that you got correct. And if you end up getting every single one of these correct and you click check, it's going to give you this nice congratulations message that actually disappears in a little bit. Again, if I check, you can see it shows up and then it disappears. And in order to help you through this project, I have detailed step-by-step -step instructions inside of the script.js file that walk you through exactly what you need to do for all of these different sections, including the bonus, which is that message you see that pops up here. This is kind of a bonus section, but you can or cannot do this depending on if you want to or not. And then finally, once you get through creating all of this, in the very next video, I'm going to show you exactly how I would create this project myself. So I can't wait to see you in that video.